what is up guys nascar gaming 48 back again with another srx video and today we are going to be starting our final race of the srx series for the six race season as we are headed to the nashville fairgrounds so that we can all we've already clinched the championship so we can just go ahead and take it from here hopefully we can go ahead and get the win hopefully we do because after this win we are going to be moving in to the late model series going to run some late model races that will be starting this sunday so yes i will be finally filming on a sunday you know since there's no cup race on sunday it's going to be friday for xfinity and saturday for cup so i cannot wait for that but i will watch the f1 race on sunday morning i will watch that but also we have that also we have some new uh, nascar 21 ignition gameplay i saw the video and stuff i didn't make a video about it because i was so busy with school and stuff but i watched some uh, other uh, nascar youtubers talk about it it is very cool because in this new nascar 21 ignition game we actually get to see like the wind speeds the track temp and something i i've been waiting for weather variation that's going to be great especially like if it rains on a road course and stuff that's going to be very good or if it rains on a racetrack like a regular oval and then uh you race on it like when it's dry and stuff it's gonna it's it's a huge difference right there but anyway just wanted to talk about that that uh, we got some gameplay and i can't wait for the game to come out this uh in october uh 28th i believe so still got a long ways to go but that's why we're going to be playing the srx racing series so yeah let's go ahead and get ready for our final srx race of the season so here we are we're going to be racing at nashville fairgrounds in tennessee three fifth mile track length it's going to be a night mid banking we are currently first in the standings we have two wins with almost 200 points so we're 83 percent complete let's go ahead and get this show on the road so let's go ahead and get ready for practice even though i've already ran at this track before so here for the national fairgrounds just like the other ovals we're going to be running a 37 percent loose setup as always it's been working for us pretty well so might as well keep using it so let's go ahead and start practice already so right here we have not ran our goal yet right now we are very close like look at our best 17 0.542 when our goal is 17.536 and another thing i noticed i can run full throttle here if i wanted to probably because of the setup i have so it makes it easier on us but we're definitely still fast because we're uh we can still catch these drivers in front of us but also i also wanted to point out i'm i'm looking at the background of nashville fairgrounds i don't see any f1 tracks around here uh, and especially five if i can't see one here well uh, Sorry, Scott Speed, uh, I was in the middle of my conversation, so sorry. But anyway, I don't see any other F1 racetracks around here, so I don't know what that Karen was talking about a few months ago. I, if I don't see any in the game, then I know there's not any in real life, so... Mm, so don't know what to say about that but yeah if anyone knows where the five f1 tracks are around natural fairgrounds please tell me in the comment section below because i i can't i can't see any from uh over here you know look here let's run the high line see if we can see if we can find any f1 tracks hmm high line hmm no all i see are nice mountains and stuff power lines around here nice mountains probably some neighborhoods over here a few buildings I uh, know I don't see anything about any F1 tracks. So I don't know what those people are talking about. But anyway, we are still pretty fast and stuff, even though we have not hit our goals. So I feel like we're definitely going to st still be pretty fast in the uh, in the heats and the main event. So let's just go ahead and get ready for that. Here we are for the Nashville Fairgrounds race. Here we are at heat number one. We are starting dead last. Definitely going to be an advantage for the drivers who need to catch up to us in points like Tony Stewart. But let's see if we can do it. Green flags in the air. We weren't ready. And this car is so loose that it, it wants. I did not. Wait, wait, what? I'm so confused. Wait. All right. First of all, I did not mean to turn. Uh, I did not mean to turn um, Marco Andretti. I did not mean to turn him. That was completely my fault. I'm so sorry. But another thing I noticed is there's 14 cars in this race. I did not. I just noticed that. So 14 cars entered into this race. So let's find out who who are the other guys in this race. Uh, if Bill Elliott's still not in this race, I'm going to be sad. But anyway, uh, still less than three minutes to go in heat number one. Let's see how we could do moving up our way through the field because it's going to be pretty tight getting through here. I mean, we have Scott Bloomquist in this race and... Greg Biffle and they make contact and we're loose, we're loose, we're loose, we're loose. 
and we keep it going, but we're in 10. Oh, Michael Watcher goes around. And that brings out the second caution of the day. So it's going to be a pretty eventful one if, if this is what the first, what, three, four laps in this one. So it's going to be wild. Now, here's something I don't get. With two minutes to go, I still don't get Bill Elliott. Misses, what, the last two races and thinks he could just come up here and, and just lead? I mean, that's kind of good for us because we know that uh, we're, in the, we're in the lead in the championship spot. So that's so I don't care about that. If Tony Stewart's not in the lead, that's I'm fine with that. But we're still running pretty well. So now we are up to fourth. Pa got past Scott Speed. Now we're behind Ernie Francis Jr., Still the highest uh, running SRX driver in the point standings who does not have a win. Only three drivers have a win. That's us, Cash Nevis, and Tony Stewart. Going to give uh, Francis the bumper, try to move him up the racetrack so he can get down low and make the pass. And here he comes to his inside. Oh, we made a bit of contact. And side by side, coming out of turn four, we will take it and we'll clear him. For that third spot is now with one minute to go in heat number one. Can we catch Bill Elliott and Paul Tracy? I'm not 100% sure because these guys are, they're pretty fast. They're pretty fast and that's shocking me. Man, they're actually pulling away. I thought we'd be catching them, but no, we're, they're pulling away. Just nine seconds to go in heat number one before we hit the two lap dash is now. Actually, we have Greg Biffle who's been gaining on us and stuff he just got past Ernie Francis Jr. for fourth so yeah this is we're not that fast but we need a good restart so we'll see because these two are definitely the fastest in the field with now one lap to go in heat number one Bill Elliott has a lead Paul Tracy's in second we're in third Greg Buffle fourth and Ernie Francis Jr. rounding out the top five as off turn four Bill Elliott will win heat number one at Nashville Paul Tracy second and we'll take home third and he number one, meaning we will be starting 12th in heat number two. So let's get ready for that. Here we go for heat two. We are restarting in the 12th spot. And I believe that's Scott Bloomquist in the lead. Uh, but anyway, the green flag's back out in the air. Let's get it back at, going at it. Three minutes to go in heat number two. Contact with Biffle. Get him loose. Now this is going to be fun knowing how Bill Elliott is the fastest car in the field. And he's going to be catching. So we just need to get up here. So can we go three wide? Oh, Francis Jr. gives us some room. Here we come. All right, above Castro Nevis. We're going to go on the high line again. Can we get above Tony Stewart? No, Castro Nevis. Oh, Bill Elliott, where'd he come from? Oh, we're going to squeeze him in between me and Ernie Francis Jr. We fall back to 11, but he falls on the way back to dead last. I'm not paying attention to this. Here comes Tony Stewart and Paul Tracy. He gets us loose. All right, we're, we're hanging on to it. We're hanging on to it. We're, we're trying to get through this field. It's harder than it looks but anyway we're trying just trying to run our own race trying to get up here but it's going to be pretty rough right here there are three brown cars in this race a uh, scott bloomquist greg biffle and ah oh, scott speed and we hit the wall uh, no caution oh there's the caution but yeah i was just saying that uh, we're not really gaining as much and greg biffle or uh, bill elliott's actually catching he's right there now so but yeah we have three poop cars right there in third fourth and fifth so just wanted to point that out scott bloomquist greg biffle and scott speed but anyway it does not matter a minute 30 left in heat number two we're back underway three wide for fifth we get a around both biffle and i believe that was scott speed or no, no, that was a Scott Bloomquist, the wrong Scott. But anyway, yeah, they're all running the same sponsor. They're all in the same color car, but different numbers. That is just weird. But anyway, we're up three wide for third. We're going to get a, underneath the two poop cars right there. We're now behind Bobby Labonte, Marco Andretti as they're side by side for the lead. We're going to go dash it in three wide for the lead. And we are going to take it from Andretti and Labonte. We have now have the lead with just under a minute to go. Michael Watchup in second. Labonte's in third. Andretti in fourth. Bill Elliott. Oh, Watchup tried to get us, but he could not. But anyway, we are in the commanding lead with now 45 seconds to go. Now the question is, the fastest driver in the field is Bill Elliott. Can he get to us and win this heat? Stay tuned, folks. I keep running too high. I keep running too high. Uh, Labonte gets to inside. We hit Michael Watcher. Three laps to go. I'm not choking this heat. Oh, here we come up to Labonte. We gave him a bit of a bump, but it did not work. Can we get back to him? Can we get back to him? Uh, we dive it in there. We are in his inside to the final lap of heat number two. Now, here comes Bill Elliott. 
up to second. Can we hang on for? Oh no, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Just gotta block, 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 block. Oh no, he's coming. He's trying to make a desperate move for the. Oh no. Oh no, this car is loose. Oh no, the tires. Oh yeah, we have damage. 72%. Bill Elliott will take the win. And heat number two, he sweeps both heats. We will finish second and third in heat number one and two. So I believe we're going to be starting third in heat number th in or heat number three. Why do I keep saying that? The main event. Oh, all right, no, we're starting in second. Paul Tracy third, Greg Buffel fourth, and Michael Watson in the top five. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this heat underway. Now the problem is here is our tires. Our tires right here is going to be the big issue. And I hate when I keep saying heat number three. It is the main event. There's no heat three in in the SRX series. But anyway, our main issue here is that the damage, of course, is fixed. But the tires are, are the number one issue for us. So we have to get to Bill Elliott. Our car is very loose. So that's going to be our main issue. So can we catch him with bad tires with just 17 laps to go? I'm not 100% sure. We need to run really good laps. We cannot get on the apron. We cannot get loose and stuff. And we cannot spin out because Bill Elliott is just running his own race right now. So uh, I don't know if we can catch him. So we might have to tighten up this car a bit if we want to have any odds of trying to win this race with now just 16 laps to go. Because, they, of course, they made Bill Elliott super god talent in, in Nashville. Of course, Nashville. Of course, the final race of the regular season or, or the, the sixth race season but anyway we're not catching him so i think we might have to tighten things up here as we get so loose that we go diving in there and now we lose a bit of uh, uh, three four tenths five tenths now off of him so six tenths so yeah we, i think we lost the guy so if the caution came out that'd be great but right now we are kind of screwed so i improved the driving aids from 30 20 20 to 40 30 30 and it's not really making a difference as he's still pulling away. So it's not that we're bad. He's just that freaking good. If once he's in that clean air and that good lead, he just he'll just take it away from here. So 11 laps to go. Don't think we're gonna catch him. I don't want to cause a caution because I'm not trying to be like that type of driver. But I bet in NASCAR 21 ignition, we will definitely see a lot of that. But if it's Paul Tracy. He's starting to put pressure on us, so you know that this race is definitely over for us. So I still think we've won the championship and stuff because nor Tony Stewart or Helio Castroneves are inside the top five. It's just Paul Tracy, Greg Biffle. Oh, no, Tony Stewart's down in the top five. And Paul Tracy gets our inside. Does not work out for him. But now nine laps to go. We need a miracle at this point. We need a freaking miracle. And we just hit the hard, we just hit the wall pretty hard. I promise you, we just hit the wall. I just ended the clip and then I just turned it back on because I got loose off turn two. We hit the wall hard. So we, we got the restart we needed, but I did not think it'd be like that. So that's my fault. But I didn't want the race to end like this, but I still think we're gonna lose because we do have damage, but we're gonna fight for it. Oh, we get Bill Elliott loose. Here we come up to Paul Tracy. Oh, no, we get loose. We go up high. All right, we hit Paul Tracy. Uh, I think a caution may come out. All right, no caution. But Paul Tracy's like the second fastest car. Yeah, yeah. See, we're very tight because we... Oh, my gosh. Look at all that damage. Oh, yeah. we That is bad. Yeah, our car... Yeah, it's not turning. Oh, no. We screwed ourselves. We had a caution and everything. We still get screwed. Oh, man. We... I messed up. I messed up. So now with, what, six laps to go, looks like Paul Tracy may take this one home because our car is just ruined, demolished, broken, everything. I don't, I, everything in the dictionary that, that involves broken. But let's see if we can hold on for her runner-up finish. Let's hope we can just stay on the podium, I guess. Okay, I think we messed up Bill Elliott because he was running well. And then ever since we made that contact with him, yeah, he's now outside the top five. So, yeah, definitely my fault. I'm so sorry, Mr. Bill Elliott. I like your son, Chase. Uh, I root for him in the Cup Series every now and then if Bowman's not doing good. But, dang, I did not want it to end like that. Two laps to go. Paul Tracy, probably the number one most hated SRX driver, is going to win this one. So, shocker right there. But... I, I think we're just going to come home a second unless Greg Biffle has anything to say about it. I hope he doesn't because Paul Tracy now takes the white flag. We take the white flag. Final lap in the SRX Series season. 
Spiffles getting to us. I'm just, I just sound disappointed because we messed up a lot. We took a lot of damage. We even had that caution come out and everything. We still kind of messed up. But anyway, we will come home with the second place finish at the fairgrounds as we're just going to try and spin our car out. But I'll take second, I guess. But I'm kind of disappointed with it. So... Paul Tracy gets the win. We finish second. Greg Biffle third. Tony Stewart fourth. Bill Elliott gets back into the top five and fifth. Ernie Francis Jr. sixth. Labonte seventh. Waltrip eighth. Scott Speed ninth. Cash and Evis tenth. Willie T. Ribs eleventh. Marco Andretti twelfth. Tony Kanon thirteenth. And Scott Bloom Chris finished dead last in fourteenth. So even though we come up home second, we still had the same amount of points as Paul Tracy in the race. But anyway, we still ran a pretty decent race. Paul Tracy gets the win. We finished second, but we have won the SRX, well, six series season or the six race season uh, championship as we are still first in the season standing. So if we take a look at the full season standings, two 140 points coming out of this one with Tony Seward in second with 191 points. Ernie Francis Jr. finishes third in the standings, passes Helio Cachanevis, who had two wins this season. That's very impressive. So props up to Ernie Francis Jr. Cachanevis finishes fourth in the standings. Uh, Marco Andretti in fifth. Labonte sixth. Wantrip seventh. Paul Tracy finishes eighth. Greg Biffle ninth. Tony Kanaan tenth. Scott Speed eleventh. Willie T. Ribs twelfth. Bill Elliott thirteenth. Doug Kobe 14th, Brian Brown 15th, Scott Bloomquist 16th, Cody Swanson 17th, Luke Fenhouse 18th, Bobby Santos 19th, and that's it. So only 19 drivers in the sixth race SRX Series season. So we're definitely going to have a bigger um, field when we do the uh, 24 race season once we're done with the late model series because I feel like all 61 of these competitors will or these other ones from 20 to 61st will compete but probably not all but some but anyway that's the point standings coming out of this one we are SRX series champions and that will do it for our six race SRX season I just got the notification from my PS4 saying that we are an SRX veteran which I guess, even though that was with my first season, and also SRX champion, so I'm proud of that. But yeah, the season's complete. In the sixth race schedule for the SRX or the Camping World SRX series, uh, we finish first, get two wins, 240 points. I see that as a job well done. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, it's been fun to do this over the past, what, two, three weeks and stuff. Only six races and stuff, but it's been pretty fun. But anyway, uh, starting this Sunday, we're going to be doing the the super late model series and stuff, running that nice looking 29 car. I did make some adjustments to it, but you guys should check that out. But anyway, I'm going to be changing up this uh, uh, SRX car. And then once we get ready, you know, for the 24 race uh, SRX season after once we're done with the late model series you could see the new paint scheme i have but i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now when i close out this video and stuff so you can just check it out once uh we get ready for that season so yeah i can't wait for this uh super late model season it will come up on sunday i'm filming on sunday since there's no cup series race but anyway that's gonna do it so guys thank you guys so much for watching please like comment share subscribe go uh subscribe to my main channel nascar mo 48 link will be in the description follow my follow me on instagram link will also be in the description and just please subscribe guys it would mean a whole lot to me and stuff i just want this channel to grow still at three subscribers so I, come on guys come on uh just want to subscribe just come on you already know what to do subscribe but anyway that's gonna do it so i'll see you guys in the next one have a great rest of your day this is nascar gaming 48 peace out